Hello, my name is Taryn Young from TY Marketing Solutions. I have prepared a presentation outlining a proposed marketing campaign for Cromford Mill. Cromford Mills was said to have kick-started the Industrial Revolution by being the first water-powered mill in England. Sir Richard Arkwright invented his cotton spinning machines to be operated by water power, which meant that the traditional manual manner of cotton spinning was no more and replaced with the use of new technology. At this present time, Cromford Mill is a national heritage site supported by government funding. Any profit generated by consumers of Cromford goes towards the development and upkeep of the site. The Arkwright Society has been around for 40 years and at this present time Cromford Mills has 350 society members who have paid a £20 joining fee. This is also paid annually to the charity and each member also receives perks upon future visits to the site and other incentives. A situational analysis has been conducted by me as a SWOT analysis showing my thoughts and opinions of Cromford upon my first visit. However, this will not concern current society members because they have visited Cromford before and enjoyed it to a point where they were willing to become a part of its day-to-day -day running and future development by joining the Arkwright Society. Therefore, the market Cromford could benefit from targeting our current individual and family society members and looking to get new members to join. This would help them achieve their main purpose, which is to generate funds for the site and by targeting new members or the general public, which could in increase their customer footfall and awareness of the charity. However, the marketing information and methods used to communicate will differ for these markets as they, as they have different requirements. Before any marketing can be distributed, it is important to know who to send it to. The first priority of Cromford Mills should be to construct a simple database which has all members' information and contact details so that they can keep in contact with members. A database would allow the organisation to market directly to their society members and communications could be made personal and specific to them, which also contributes to consumer satisfaction and feeling appreciated. <clears throat> When people join this society, they complete a form that requires their home address, which could be used by the organisation to contact them for further details for the database. The Arkwright Society website has a login application for members. This could also be used to update their information and create a direct link with the organisation and the individual for communications. The risks of a database is that people may not be willing to give their personal information, but the organisation can express the benefits of having it so they can be told about events or general information that might interest them. For example, Cromford could find out why individuals became members and then market certain products or services information to them because of this. By having a database, any cor correspondence Cromford send consumers can be done quickly and efficiently because they have this information at hand at all times. Firstly, the e-marketing methods Cromford could benefit from using are social media. Social media is a method used regularly by many business because information can reach a vast audience. It is also free to set up and use and would allow Cromford to communicate with their consumers directly and create two-way conversations between the business and consumers and even consumers to consumers. However, before this method is chosen, the target audience should be considered as they might not have access to the internet or may not use social media sites at all. The negatives of this are that it needs constant updating and monitoring, therefore time needs to be taken from regular businesses, business activities to do this. 
Also, because many people have access to social media, they can express their opinions, good or bad, and the business will not be able to do anything to prevent it. Online Partnership The site is sponsored by the Architectural Heritage Fund, European Union and National Lottery. If Cromford could establish an online partnership with these businesses, they could advertise Cromford Mill on their websites, which means that more people would become aware of them. This could also encourage people to visit and in turn increase customer footfall and member numbers because they will get notice on these other websites. A negative of this could be that the business Cromford partners with may want something in return and because Cromford does not make a profit, they may not be able to provide what the partner wants. Though this may not concern Cromford because possible partners are already sponsoring them and they would want the organisation to gain more recognition from the public to generate more funds for their cause. Search marketing. At present, when Cromford is searched in Google, the mill is second on the list, which means that the public will notice their online presence. Search engine optimization will encourage people to visit their website as pe the public will not have to scroll through pages of searches to find the information they are looking for. The Cromford website contains the site's full history, which could interest a desire within the public to visit the site and experience the information they have learnt in person. Online PR Cromford should monitor online comparison sites like TripAdvisor so that any negative feedback published could be used as an opportunity to take note of issues consumers have in a positive manner and send apologies and compliments to say that the issue will be dealt with. Consumers will feel valued if their opinions are taken into account by any business and they may visit the site again to see if the business has done anything to re rectify their negative feedback. Young volunteers at Cromford would be interested in creating a blog for the organisation as they may be more tech savvy than some current volunteers. A method like this is good for communicating with consumers or anyone interested in visiting the site and can be used to gain feedback. Negatives of this is that blogs are public and anyone can see the information they contain. Negative feedback could put people off visiting the site, therefore the person responsible for posting information on behalf of Cromford should remain professional in how they respond so that people who have never visited the site will not be put off by any negative opinions. PR Cromford should use regular PR so that they can reach people who do not see digital marketing. Consumers may prefer getting information from traditional methods such as newspapers, magazines or newsletters. They can be made aware of this site and what they are doing or what, is on, what it has to offer. Positive media coverage of community events or any fundraising where local businesses like Cromford have come together to, and contributed to the event could encourage people to visit. Again, anyone that has access to these methods of communications and Cromford cannot control what the journalists decide to publish. Whether it's good or bad, the organisation can only respond positively so that they can try to defend their reputation. I've also constructed a communications plan which shows what marketing Cromford could utilise and also the channels in which they should distribute the marketing to attract the target market. Cromford already has a vast amount of members that they could communicate with to build relationships. 
Keep in contact with these people reassures members that they have invested in a worthy cause and could also encourage them to spread the word about Longford. If new members are targeted, the charity will receive more funding which meet the terms of Longford's main purpose. There are many e-marketing methods the organisation could use to communicate with those targeted. However, a database should be prioritised so that tailored marketing activities can be achieved. If Comfort undertakes a project like this and utilises this campaign, they could become more successful in generating funds for the running and development of the site. Thank you for listening.